Hi, I'm Russ with ESBService.com and SolarStormParts.com. And in this video, I just wanted to answer a quick question that I get a lot, which is simply, why do my end caps and or arms on my tanning bed break? Now, that's a good question because these shouldn't break and they're not uh, wear items like your lamps or your acrylics. So when they break, it's an indication of another problem that needs to be addressed before moving forward. So this is a uh, ESB style end cap for the ESB tanning beds. This is a solar storm end cap. And this is the arm or the hinge for the ESB style that connects here. And then same thing, the solar storm style arm connects into the end cap as well. So these parts obviously are, um, they're related to each other. They, they mate right up to each other and they fit together and they, and they, they should work together. Great. But this is why this type of situation happens. You have a uh, ball stud that the shock mounts to, like this. And let's say that the shock itself should be replaced. These shocks, if they don't get, uh, watch my other video on um, where people go wrong with the shocks, but if they don't use them frequently, which is common on a tanning bed, they will start to seize up and they get stronger. And when they're stronger, it's what I mean to say is they're harder to compress. You just can't, like this, I can compress it down, but it becomes harder and harder to do that when the shock seizes. So when it does that, if the shock is mounted here and the canopy is up and it's closing and this shock is too strong now because it's seizing, you're going to put all this extra force on this ball stud here where it mounts to the shock on the end cap. You're going to put all that force here and you're going to end up starting to break this end cap here. It starts out with a spider crack that goes out this way and then it eventually just cracks and breaks. Now if you don't rectify that soon enough, it's going to transfer to your arm and you're going to, you're going to end up breaking the arm or the hinge. Uh, it's the same thing on, on the solar storm design. It's the same principle. What, what, the, what the user needs to do is just use the shocks frequently, like I say in my shock video, to keep actuating the shock and keeping the seals lubricated in there and working well. Now, let's say that uh, you, you just leave the shocks on there too long after they should be replaced, well, that's going to cause that type of an issue too. When you're opening and closing that tanning bed, you're putting too much force on this spot here on the end cap. And also for that matter, on the canopy end cap too, you have, you will have a ball stud up here in that spot. And that's what you'll notice. This, this is getting too much stress, too much flex, and then the end caps will break. So anyway, that was just a quick tip here to help you to prevent that from happening again in the future. Simply uh, make sure that your shocks are mounted correctly, which is in this orientation here. Make sure you use them frequently and also make sure that when they need to be replaced, you replace them. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to hit the bell for notifications. Thanks again and happy tanning.